everyone, this is Cricket Song with Lunar Wisdom, and you're watching another Tarot Spreads video. The name of this spread is Oracle Game. You can find this tarot spread in this book, Illustrated Tarot Spreads by Filner and Schreiner. And this particular spread is on page 67, Oracle Game. Okay, so this is a seven card spread and we've placed the cards out. We're gonna look at it with the Rider Wake deck we're going to interpret it, and then we're going to compare it to the Green Witch Tarot. Okay, so seven cards. The first card here is my situation or my problem. That's the middle card. The second card represents this is how it arose. The third card, this is how I feel today. The fourth card, this will happen in the future. The fifth card, this is what the oracle warns about. The sixth card, this is what the oracle recommends. Oh, and they have a seventh card here. That's strange. Well, we're going to say six and seven are this is what the oracle recommends. Because if you actually look in the book, there is no seven, but there is a seventh card. So we're going to call these two cards what the oracle recommends. Okay, so let's flip over the cards and do the interpretation. Card number one, my solution, my problem. Card number two, this is how it arose. Card number three, this is how I feel today. Card number four, this is what will happen in the future. Card number five, this is what the oracle warns about. Card number six, and we're gonna say card number seven. This is what the oracle recommends. Okay, card number one. My situation or my problem, Ace of Cups. This talks to me about, um, well, first of all, I'm sorry, before we even start, let's look. There is one major, arcana, two major arcana cards. There are no pentacles, there are cups, wands and swords so again very similar to another reading i did when you don't see a representation of a specific uh suit in this case a pentacle then i take note of that because this tells me that within seven cards there are no pentacles an absence of that absence so this would tell me that there is no stability here there's no grounding there is no focus on the physical or the practical side of what this is. Um, there is more uh, focus on emotional or intellectual. There is no focus on the physical. This can be like physical attraction, physical connection. It could talk about um, no sex, a lack of sex. It could talk about a lack of money in a situation. If we're talking about finances, there's no income here. Uh, there's no stability here. So we're seeing a lack of all these things in this situation or in this problem. Um, and because we're seeing the, the uh, Ace of Cups as the problem, this tells me this is an emotional problem. This is something that we're dealing with in an emotional sense, something that is non-physical, something that makes us feel good, but because there's a lack of, of pentacles, it's not a physical thing. Um, the other thing is the, the rest, there's uh, one sword, there is three cups, which again emphasizes the emotional aspect of this or the relationship aspect of it. Um, two major arcana cards, one wand, otherwise, oh, and we do see what, three reversed and four upright. So there's no indication that there is you know anything sort of unbalanced in that we have a good balance of all these other things except the lack of pentacles so the situation is the ace of cups and that again talks about a sort of relationship issue or a fulfilling feeling fulfilled we're not feeling fulfilled it has 
something to do with the things that make us feel satisfied. Uh, feelings, we're talking about emotions. That is a problem. So the two, the second position here is the hanged man reversed. And this is how it arose. Well, when I look at the hanged man, this talks about sacrificing. It talks about giving up something in order to get something in return, like equal exchange. Because it, when it's reversed, this would say, because I refused to sacrifice in order to get, I took without giving back. This is why I'm having this challenge in regards to my emotions or in regards to this relationship. If we're saying the Ace of Cups represents a relationship or a situation that I'm engaged with emotionally, um, the problem arose because I took. I was taking and taking and taking and not giving back. Um, and that's how this situation arose. The third card, this is how I feel today. The Six of Wands talks to me about feeling very proud, feeling uh, satisfied, feeling as if I'm successful, feeling as if other people are acknowledging what I've done in a positive way. They're celebrating me. Um, so whatever it is today, I feel real good. I feel on top of the world. I feel as if um, I deserve this recognition and I am receiving this recognition. So whatever I did, whatever I took, it definitely fed me emotionally. Um, but obviously because I'm looking at this and it's a, a situation that needs to be dealt with, um, maybe there's something lacking, like it's an empty sense of pride and fulfillment. Uh, so card number four, this will happen in the future. So card number four, the two of cups suggests that whatever is going to happen in the future is going to be a perfect vibrational match for me. Um, I am going to meet something or someone that definitely is going to solidify my situation. If I'm talking about a relationship, if this is a new relationship and I came to this relationship because I wasn't going to put in time, put in effort, maybe this is a relationship that came to me. I'm feeling very validated and very recognized and I'm being sort of celebrated, maybe put on a pedestal. And the two of cups here suggests that this is a, this is a good thing. It's going to bond me to this person, bond me to this situation. So if this is a situation I've wanted, then this is definitely something that's going to be a positive thing. If we're looking at, I feel like there's a problem with this relationship. And I got this relationship because I was unwilling to go out there and seek it. And this is just a relationship that kind of a relationship of convenience. And I'm feeling like it's it, this person is catering to me in every aspect. Um, and it's fulfilling me egoly, you know, egotistically. Then this is exactly where I, I kind of called this relationship to me without even effort, without any effort. And it's still going to fit me in the future. It's still going to keep us bonded in the future, whether that's a positive or negative thing. The card number five is the Page of Swords. So when I use the Rider Waite, any court cards definitely represent a person or a personality or a situation. Um, when I see the pages, it's an, it's an immature situation or a child or a pregnancy. Because this is swords, there's tension, anxiety surrounding this situation. There's a conflict. Um, because the page is reversed, I would read this in a negative way or a unmanifested way at this point. So generally for me, when I use the writer weight, if we're talking about sort of in a relationship sense, I would look at this and say there's a pregnancy in the future. Um, this is what the Oracle warns about. The Oracle warns about a pregnancy if we're talking a relationship and this pregnancy would bring with it tension, anxiety and stress. So there could be a problem with this pregnancy. It's unmanifested, meaning it's the cards reversed, meaning that there could be a scare of pregnancy. There could be a pregnancy that end that ends before a birth, you know, whether it's a miscarriage, whether it's an abortion, whether it's uh, something that's um, is unwanted, you know, a pregnancy that surrounds a lot of tension and anxiety. 
Um, if we're not talking about an actual pregnancy, then this is suggesting that there's a situation that me and the other person would be get into and we'd create a situation that is unwanted and stressful and it's immature. Like maybe the relationship uh, can't handle the stress and anxiety. Uh, it's an immature relationship. Like it's, it's a sort of like this false sense of a relationship because of the way it manifested. Like I didn't put time and effort into it. This person just, it was a relationship of convenience. Um, and this person is putting all the effort and time into it and I'm not giving back. So then when there is a argument or a, um, a difference of opinion, then the relationship can't handle the stress of the conflict. So then the last two cards, what is, um, this is what the Oracle recommends. The lovers reversed and the three of cups. So this would tell me when I see the lovers card, if we're talking about, um, a relationship generally the lover's card represents sort of a soulmate connection not necessarily that you have to live happily ever after but sort of a connection that really is part of your journey your spiritual journey your spiritual enlightenment as you are in the physical incarn in, you know incarnation here this would talk about that kind of connection it's reversed, so this tells me that this person isn't really a soulmate for me. It's not really the connection that I'm meant to have. The Three of Cups talks about friendship and devotion and um, coming together and just having a nice uh, interaction. Um, there's definitely trust, but it's not on the deep soul level. But this, So I would look at these two and say that the, the oracle recommends that this person isn't a soulmate connection, but can definitely be part of my friendship as I'm incarnated here on earth. That we don't have an in-depth, long-lasting connection, but it's a nice distraction. It's a, this person would be nice to, you know, hang out with and have a exchange with, but they're not, they may not be in my life for an extended period of time, but more situational. That's how I would read this. So let's see what the Green Witch Tarot suggests if we compare with the Green Witch Tarot. Um, a lot of times these cards are very similar because they all have the Rider weight, but sometimes the cards don't exactly read the same exact way. Some of the cards change the meanings when I look at them, but not always. Um, many times it's very similar, but I, I do want to show you the difference. Okay, so the first card is the Ace of Cups, Ace of Chalices. I'd read that the same way. The second, the Oak King, the Hanged Man. I would read that the same way as well. Um, the Six of Wands, I would read that the same way. Nothing would change there. Um, the Two of Chalices, Two of Cups, I would read that the same way as well. The five. Okay, so this I would read a little differently. The Page of Athames, Page of Swords. Page of Athames in the Green Witch Tarot. When I'm using the Green Witch Tarot, it usually has more of a witchy vibe. Not that it's going to change anything really drastically, but when I see the Page of Athames, I, <coughs> I think initiation. Now, <clears throat> It still would represent a child or pregnancy, stress, anxiety, but it also represents the initiation, the transforming of one aspect into another, uh, sort of a rebirth into a new way of life, your energy being shifted or transformed. So if we weren't actually talking about a pregnancy, then it would be a personal initiation or transformation from one aspect of self to another aspect of self. So if we're talking about sort of a, an emotion or a relationship or some situation that I'm engaged in emotionally, this card in this position, this is what the Oracle warns me about. The Oracle would warn me about a personal initiation that is about to take place. Now, this could be a positive thing, but this could be a negative thing. This could be talking about standing at a situation that is really going to change my perspective on something or really change me as a person. Like I may decide to do something or say something that is going to affect me in the future that I'm unaware, uh, unaware of, but it's gonna change my perspective on everything. So 
So that would change the reading just a little bit. And this is what the oracle warns about. I would read these in the same way, the Lord and the Lady being the lovers. This gives me the, you know, the idea that this situation or this person is not the other part of me, is not the polarity to me. Uh, with this situation or person, it's not going to make sort of a complete it's it's an unbalanced situation um, but they they would definitely be someone who could be part of my you know my group my friends my group of friends but they're just not going to sort of balance me out maybe they're too much like me and there's not that polarity or, or shift or change that's how I would read this oracle game. If you decide to do this spread for yourself, please share your results with me and share what deck you use. Um, and until next time, I love you. Blessed be.